welcome back. Our next guest is here to encourage us, guess what, to eat more desserts. Absolutely. That's right. Sure. Alan Cornett is here from Kentucky, from E Kentucky, to tell us how we can indulge in dessert without the guilt. Welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be back. So, have you all have you all broken your your New Year's resolution yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Very and good. You know what? You're here to help me That's stay right. on it, right? That's right. I'm smart enough not to make any resolutions oh, that just... I'm going to eat healthier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did. Granted, I did just start my New Year's resolution sure. yesterday. So. Oh, right. <laughs> well, you know, you know, get a I'm, slow roll. I'm in there though. Slow roll out. <laughs> well, I'm here to encourage you to resolve to eat more cookies okay. because the reality is, even if we're trying to eat healthier. We need to have some little cheats here yeah. and there, yes. yeah. really to stay on track. Because right. if you if you cut everything off, yes, you then start you're, craving right, it, right, and then you're going to fall off the cliff. Obsessing about and it, you're, yes. you know, you're going to be sitting up yeah. at 2 a.m. with you know exactly. surrounded by. Yeah, you wake up in the um, middle of the night and you're just like, oh, cookie, yeah. cookie, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to have it. So, so I've got these thin stir cookies, which are a healthier alternative. Yeah. One one of the nice things is they're smaller. Please Can I go eat ahead. One? Yeah. Oh, yes. We've got some chocolate chip right. here. We've got the brownie batter, we've got toasted coconut. They've got all kinds of different flavors. They do seasonal yeah. flavors too. These but are great. Yeah, they're great. And and the good thing about them is, one of the things is they're smaller, so they just kind of slow you down right. a bit. But they're made out of real ingredients. When you start reading the ingredient yes. list, it's not got things you can't pronounce. Right. Yeah. It has things that you, you recognize yeah. and know. So they're healthy. They're non-GMO. It's portion control. Right. You know? and, and you don't have to worry about corn syrup in these. Right. It's, it's real food. Yeah. But what I've done is taken these and then we've made some, some cool ban frozen banana treats uh -huh. with them. And bananas are healthy. Yeah, bananas are healthy. Gives you some potassium. Go you're right gonna, ahead. You're yeah. going to go for it. Yeah. Okay, well, and, I guess and I so will too. This has got uh, frozen bananas, so you just slice these up. I sliced them into thirds. Mm -hmm. Use these. These are paper straws mm. that I just mm. cut in half and used them as sticks. Put them yeah. in the freezer, let them get hard, and these then are great. yeah, then you so melt good. some peanut butter chips, or you can use butterscotch, you could use chocolate, whatever mm -hmm. you flavors you like, and then crunched up chocolate chip uh, thinsters, and you put that on these, roll them in there, and it gives you something that you can snack on, cheat with a little bit. I love that. There's this healthy. misconception that. Everything that we eat that's bad for us, or everything that's good is bad for us. Right. That we eat. This is good, and it's not bad sure, for us. Sure, you can you can create healthy things. Right. And this is a way to do that. And Thinsters is a great addition to kind of give you that bridge into eating better. Right. You know? Right. Because over the holidays, we you know you sort of throw the the inhibitions out the window as far as the, the calories go. <laughs> So what are you saying, Alan? Yeah, so we're trying. Well, I mean, I know I know what happened to me, so yeah. I've got to get back on track right. too. But you know, the reality yeah. is we're not going to be right. successful if we just cut it off completely. So it's a it's a great way to work something different in. Gotcha. A sort of eat this, not that type you, of approach. You know, and I love, okay, so tell us about Eat Kentucky, because this is really interesting what you do, and it, and well, it benefits everyone in the sure. community, too. Yeah, Eat Kentucky is uh, something I started, oh, about five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, probably my biggest platform right now is on Instagram, so you yeah. can follow all my various food adventures. And uh -huh. Oh, I do. I've, I've also, <laughs> I appreciate it, thanks. And then I've also got a podcast, which is relatively new, but I actually have a new podcast episode that just dropped today, first one of the year. Nice. And Congratulations. Well, thank yeah. you very much. And I interview uh, Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles, who mm -hmm. was just elected to his second term, sworn in yesterday nice. for his second term. And so uh, I will consider this his first, first official act as uh, in his second term to be on the Eat Kentucky podcast. So Wonderful. I sit down and talk to him. You can download that on any of your podcast platforms. Yeah. You can get that on Apple, Google, Spotify, iHeart, any of those. It's free download. Just search for mm -hmm. Eat Kentucky on those podcast apps and you'll find it. Why do you think it's so important to do what it is that you're doing? Because I know you're passionate about uh, this. Well, yes, I love doing it. I think that... It is important to celebrate Kentucky. Yes. And we have such a wonderful culture, mm -hmm. especially a food culture, and it is very diverse. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I talk about with Commissioner Quarles are the ingredients that go into that. So yeah. there are all kinds of different foods that are Kentucky foods, yeah. but what makes Kentucky food Kentucky food? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the people who make it and the ingredients that they use. Yeah. And so that's kind of the angle that I look at that. And there yeah. are all kinds of different types of foods, mm -hmm. not just what we might think of as traditional southern food, yes. but we have such a, a diversity uh, in Kentucky. 
and we have such a rich agricultural tradition. We do. So you have our cooks take advantage of that. Absolutely. And how do people find you again? You can find me on uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter, and Facebook at Eat Kentucky on any of those platforms, yeah. and then also on the podcast. Well, you know, and I want you to stick around because we have another topic that we're going to talk okay. about, and it's about, of course, resolutions. So speaking uh, of sure. resolutions, a new year symbolizes a new chapter opening in your life. Uh, but while so many aspire to achieve goals, only 12% of them will experience the victory. That's right. 156 million people will most likely give up on their resolution before you can even blink. <laughs> so here are 10 reasons why New Year's resolutions fail. All right? So number one, you're treating you're treating it like a marathon versus like a sprint. Just like it is with losing weight, I would say. Actually, right? you're Absolutely. not. I think that was actually worded wrong. It, you're treating it, you're treating it, it's failing because you're treating it like a sprint sure. versus a marathon. Is right. that right? Uh, yeah, and you've got, yeah, you've got the whole year to get through. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, you know what, and that's the thing. I mean, you're going in for the long haul, and you have to, you have to pace yourself. You've you have to forgive yourself, yourself when mm -hmm. you make mistakes, right? I mean, it's, it seems, you know, it's, it's very difficult, and sure. you should we be... Sure, we think we're not, if we're not 100% successful right off the bat, give up. Yeah, yeah, but absolutely. But we've got a long way to go. Absolutely. You put the cart before the horse. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yes. You know, you, you see what you, you know, what you want to accomplish, everything that needs to be done. Sometimes that can be a little overwhelming at that point. You kind of overwhelm yourself, right? Uh, oh, yeah. That's putting big steps in front of the small steps, right, I would say. Right, right, exactly. Number three, you don't believe in yourself. I think that's a big one for a lot of folks. Sure. I mean, you, you know you have to get back in shape or you know you want to lose weight, whatever it is. And you just kind of, you're just like, oh, but I love sweets too much. That's where this helps <laughs> right. out with all of your ideas today, Alan. That's awesome. Sure, and we let failures get us down. We yeah. let them stop us when we, when everybody right. ha has setbacks. Right, right. Um, too much thinking and not enough doing. This is... <laughs> <laughs> we think too much sometimes. You know, and I love this. Uh, you know, my husband is a perfect example. I hate to throw him under the bus on this, but it's true. <laughs> he wants to buy, like, all these workout outfits and gear. You know, he gets all the workout stuff, and then it's like, you know, he gets all geared up for it, and then it just kind of fiddles out. And he just, you know, it never really happens. And so he, you know, it's, it's just kind of funny. We all kind of overthink it, right? Guy, guys like to buy gear. Yes, you know? they do. That's right. They do. <laughs> guys like to they get do. gear. It's true. It's the follow through that's not always as that's successful. That's right. That's right. Okay, number five, you're in too much of a hurry. Yes. You know, I, I, you don't gain the weight overnight. You're not going to lose it overnight. Yeah. Instant you know? results. We're living uh, in a time where we want instant gratification. Right, right. You don't enjoy the process. That's another thing. Right. Nobody who really enjoys the process. Does, does anybody? You've got to look at yourself. <laughs> you know, how did I do this past month? How did I do this yeah. you know, past quarter? Because yeah. if we're doing resolutions, it should be for the whole year. And yeah. we think, okay, by the end of January, I need to have lost 40 pounds. You that's know, right. That's not going to happen. That's right. That's right. And, and uh, the last one, you don't track your progress. There's more to, but that's the last one we're going to get to because we're out of time. But, you know, tracking progress is so important in anything sure. that you do um, if you want success. So it's very important. Alan, thank you so Thanks much for, me. for being with us today. Again, pleasure. Hey, always good <laughs> pleasure, to be with you. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.